So today we're going to begin an advertising project in Comic Life. So make sure you can find the Comic Life icon. If you don't have the Comic Life app, I'd like you to do the same thing today in the Pages app. I'm going to go ahead and open up Comic Life and give you a couple tips on getting started. First of all, when you open up the app, you're probably going to see the last comic that you worked on. This is my yearbook ad, and your advertisement today is going to have a lot of the same information. What we're selling, how much we're selling it for, the other things you can buy, and the ordering deadline. All of those are items that are essential information on your yearbook advertisement. Now, how do we get in and create a new ad? Well, when I tap on that ad, I'm going to see three icons. The pencil icon lets you edit that and add more to it. The envelope with the arrow allows you to email your ad, and the six squares takes you to your gallery. That's where we're going to go right now. When I tap that, I can see my gallery and all of the comics that I've created. And what I want to look for is new comic in the upper left-hand corner. When I tap that, it takes me to my templates. The first one is a blank template. There's nothing on it. I can put on as many pictures or words as I want. I'm going to page through it, though, and look at the other templates available and select one of the other ones. They all let me put in a series of pictures, and they give me different speech bubbles to put in some words, and I can add as many of those as I like. I'm going to try this one out today. It's called the Road Trip Template. And when I bring this template up, I get all of these different lettering options at the bottom. If I want to add another title, like perhaps I want to add in how much the yearbook costs, I can bring that up from the bottom. And those that say lettering are your main titles. I'm going to add in that the cost is $20 on my yearbook. So I'm done. I hide my keyboard and there it is. I can even stretch it out and make it really big. Now most of these templates give you some words that are fillers. When you tap on those, you can type in there and put in your own information. Like I might want to put in the add zoom information. Please make sure you check your spelling and also your punctuation and your capitalization. So the add zoom was three dollars. So I want to switch over, get my three period zero zero for three dollars. So that one's done. I hide my keyboard and now I can move around that text box as well. Now that's pretty hard to read when it's very small like that. So I've got some great icons at the top I can use. This page with the bent corner lets you work on your template and change what it looks like, whether or not you have three pictures or five pictures, etc. The eye for information is going to let me come in and change the style of my letters. I can even change the kind of font, there's text options, I can increase the size, and I can also change my font to something more fun. So make sure you look at the eye for information and the bent page. Of course, we know how to insert pictures using the media at the top. Now let's see what it looks like. It's much bigger, easier to read. So that was a good choice that I made. Remember, when you're trying to advertise or sell something, you want to make it very approachable easily readable by the people who you, whom you might be selling it to. Now, if you want to add in information like this, add zoom, we might be able to do this. I can tap my camera rolls here, and when I tap the landscape icon, it takes me to my camera roll. I can bring in a picture. Maybe I want to bring in a picture from our visiting artist here recently, uh, like one of these had a great picture of Miss Fields working with one of our young artists, so we're going to put that in, our assistant principal working with one of our fourth graders. So now that that's in there, maybe I want to put a caption coming out like this. So I grab the thought bubble and bring it, bring it up. My caption's going to be, buy yours today. Exclamation mark. Punctuation is so important hide my keyboard and now that's in there so Miss Fields is thinking to us buy yours today what are we buying we're buying Montlou yearbooks Now, there's one other great thing I want to share with everybody about how to be able to make your text more readable N -T -L -I -B -U. yearbooks is all one word come up here, if I have my 
text highlighted. Notice how it has the blue box around it. When I come up here to the I for information, it lets me pick a different lettering style if I want to try that for my title. I can also spread my letters out so they become more readable. I can stagger them and make them go up and down, more like a comic strip. I can skew them and make them slant across the page, which is kind of fun too. So I spread my letters out to make them a little more readable. I'm going to change my font or what my letters look like. Right now it's on glass jaw BB. I think I'm going to come down and try Umberto Regular. Again, I want a kind of font that is very easy to read, but it's also fun. Now when I change this font, I need to go back and capitalize yearbooks. So I double tap, press on the letter I want to change, use the shift arrow to capitalize, and put in a Y. Return. Your comic life advertisement. How do you send it to your teacher? First of all, you have to take a picture of it so you can use it in another application. So press Power and Home at the same time to take a screenshot. You'll see your screen flash and you know you have a picture of it. At that time, we're going to exit out of Comic Life, open up the Pages application, and create a new document. Press the plus sign and create document. The blank document is fine. And go ahead and write your name at the top of it. Mr. Wells comic, or you can put your yearbook advertisement, etc. Then press the landscape icon in the top right hand corner to go to your camera roll and bring in that Comic Life comic strip that you just created. Stretch it out so it fills up your page. Again, we want it to be a full page advertisement. I'm not going to make it so big that I hide my name up there, but I do want to pretty much fill up the page. And you always pull from the corners. That helps keep it spaced out evenly instead of getting uh, pulled out of proportion. At that time, I am done once I've pulled it out like that, filled up my page. So I need to go back to my documents and rename it. Right now it's called Blank One, and I want it to have my name on it. So when I go back into my documents view, I tap on the name of blank one, and I'm going to rename it Wells Yearbook Ad. That way I can keep mine apart from everybody else's. I'm done. So I'm ready to send this. I go back into my yearbook ad, and in the upper right hand corner, I tap on Tools, Share and Print, and Copy to Web Dab. This is like the new email system we have for the school. So I tap copy to web dev. Normally I would get you to send this in pages, but today we're going to use the word format. Tap on word. You will probably have to sign in first. So let's work on the sign in part as well. Copy to web dev. I'm going to sign out so everybody sees how I sign in right now. The address is on the board. Once you sign in, it should stay signed in for about a week. 469web.gcsnc.net. This address is on the board. You have no username, no password. When you sign in, it will ask you the format. Again, with this assignment, pick the Word format. Look in Specials for me, Wells. And then you can see I already have some in. Some folks forgot to name theirs, and it's still called blank and then you copy it over to me. You're still going to have a copy in your iPad, but now I will have a copy in my folder on the WebDAV server. I look forward to receiving some great posters, and I will make you famous by putting up your artwork around the school. Thanks. Have a great day.